So I'm going through these tweet replies that I've got. Derek Thrower says, I am told she studied at the Susan Hall Institute of Linguistics. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you. James Murray, I don't know what this was about. He said, to be fair, Susan, isn't that what you do on Twitter? Ah, I think this is when I had a go at uh, the Archbishop of, uh, Bishop of Canterbury, who keeps putting his spoke in all over the place. And I... I think as a man of the cloth, I personally think he shouldn't. And the response to that, I did read this one, was, to be fair, Susan, isn't that what you do on Twitter? Yeah, yeah. Involve yourself in other people's businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, shouldn't you just get on with your own by being a local councillor? Twitter is my hobby, and that's why I do it. Um, and thank you for interacting. Ah, James O'Brien. <laughs> Remarkably, your listening habits are even less interesting to me than your political analysis. Of course it is. Have you ever heard James O'Brien? Ah, surely Red Rodriguez. Now, she is the deputy mayor for the environment. She put in a dreadful performance on Politics London, a programme I particularly like. Um, and I think I commented on that because that's what I do. And her response here is, What's indefensible is delaying action yet again, because she's talking about the extended EULAs, which I won't stop talking about until he says he's not going to do it, uh, to prevent 4,000 premature deaths annually, the thousands, thousands of hospital admissions for asthma and the increased risk of cancer, dementia or lung disease. Um, and this is what they're saying, just so that they can get the extended in which, of course, we are fighting because we don't actually believe that. Um, Chrissy Grinch, knowing what you Tories are like, it's probably all lies. David is one of the smartest MPs in the House. Stop the lies. I think that was about uh, David Lammy, <laughs> which makes it hysterical in itself. Uh, this one's from Julia Hartley Brewer, who actually I do like. Um, I think she was having a go for a while, a year ago, about Jacob Reese smogs children, and I think children should be um, off limits. And she, but she puts, Susan, you seriously need to get help or get off my timeline, one or another. She blocked me for a while, but she's put me back on, so I'm happy because I like reading her tweets. Jess Phillips. Susie, you seem weirdly obsessed with talking about me to your followers with all the quote tweets and desperate emojis. You don't have to talk about me, you know. I know. It seems to annoy you. Please feel free to stop. Maybe get a hobby. My hobby is Twitter. Do some work. Oh yes, I do. Uh, or go out for a little walk. Oh, thank you, Jess Phillips. How lovely. Oh, Piers Morgan blocked you. Yeah, he did. He did. Hey, how are you? Ah, my favourite, David Lammy. Good Lord, how very kind of you. I don't know what I said. How often do I enter your subconscious at night? Kisses, D, and then there's a kiss. Ugh, that's horrible. Gary Neville. Oh, no, it's somebody else. Only oh, he was talking about Gary and Neville. He helps the poor. How much of your salary do you donate to the homeless and other charities? That's my business. Thank you, Jeff Povey. You just post file tweet after file tweet. Your life and the rest of those around you must be miserable. No, it's fine. Thank you for asking, though. No. Oh, Gary Lineker blocked me. I, I've been crying about that for days. Not... Um, what can you do? We'll always carry on with Twitter. Um, but thank you all for your comments. <laughs>